Hey, by the way, yeah. make sure you stay with us coming up in the 9 o'clock hour. This is awesome. I don't know if you ever heard of oil pulling. It sounds, well, I mean, quite frankly, disgusting. Yes. So we're enlisting <laughs> Katie Gardner. Of course. I'll do anything. To give this a try. I, I guess it's supposed I'm to gonna have health I'm going to watch this one I can't wait. Sure. I'm excited. You know, I'm going to detox. We should all do We're going to detox your we're mouth, gonna right? That's right. Uh, Literally. A few others that could use that. I just we're not, that dirty wait, mouth. I, I, Anyway, we're not talking about Listerine. Oh, and we are going to do something fun today. I don't know if well. you've heard about it. Well, we aren't so much. <laughs> we're not doing it. I think we're just going to we're going to give you the play by play. Oil pulling is this new holistic technique where mm. they say if you swish your mouth for with pure oil for about 20 minutes, you can pull all the impurities and gunk in everything out of your teeth, and look your who's gums. All smiles, ready to there try this. Oh, I'm all smiles right now. There is no <laughs> way she has gunk and impurities. She's just no, a daisy. Not at all. But we're going to find out. We're going to talk to a dentist too, who's going to help us. All right. As to see. whether or not this is just gobbledygook. Oh, so and, uh, I guess the, the, the whole concept is, yeah, sweet. you take an oil. So you have, you have coconut oil. Yeah, coconut oil. So you take a little yeah. bit of this, and uh -huh. we, we, we were talking to some people that have done this, and mm -hmm. I, I guess you, you put that in your mouth. Okay, here kinda, it is. Kind of chomp that it a much? little. Are you really doing that Put a big much? spoonful. More? More? A okay, big okay. spoonful. Now, what did I sign up for? Just okay. a spoonful of oil. Make I'm going to go with that. That's a pretty big spoonful. Feel like okay. Roll bar. Are you ready? Go for it. Gag. Okay. So right. you put it in, and then just kind of chew a little, and it, it'll melt in your mouth. Mm, it tastes like a um, I mean, it tastes fine. Okay. How do you keep that in without drooling? I would but drool. But for 20 minutes, Katie. Okay. Okay. And you swish it, and you do that thing where you pull it between your teeth, like. Oh, you're swishing it around. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You got it. 20 minutes. All right. Keep swishing for 20. <laughs> this is the quietest the studio is ever going to be. <laughs> I swear, she just. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Guys, let me tell you, I can't talk right now, but I just want to let you know how excited I am to be doing this with all of y'all. Okay, oh, we can't make her laugh. Yeah, we don't want her to spit it out don't or anything. Laugh. Okay, All right, so we're going to check on that. We're also going to talk to someone who has been doing this and swears by it. And, of yes. course, like we mentioned, we'll have a dentist here. We'll find out if this is truly science <laughs> that's coming up today. I She's do doing it right. Don't make her laugh. All right. Don't make her laugh. I think we need to get it, though, yeah, for our little Katie Garner. She actually was in, you know, That's right. Piranha. She was in Piranha 3D with, with David Hasselhoff. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, y'all, I was in that movie, and, like, David Hasselhoff was there, and I died. <laughs> I was lazy. I got strung up by my own whistle. Still still doing all right over there, Katie, with the uh, the David Hasselhoff thing? 14 feet, I mean, that's, like, beyond life-size. So there is a new trend that has people, believe it or not, swapping the toothpaste for coconut oil. It's called oil pulling, and our Katie has been trying it out since the start of the show. Getting Try close, it. getting close to the end. You're supposed to keep doing this, what, for like 20 minutes? We're going to talk minutes. to someone who does this on a daily basis, and we're also going to get a dentist take on this whole thing. We want to find out if this really does work, if it really does clear your mouth and body of impurities. That's next on Good Day Columbus. Katie, don't worry, you only have about uh, five more minutes to go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Well, a new health trend is gaining in popularity, and it's called oil pulling. Basically, you take pure oil. Now, this is not your typical petroleum. This is food oil, okay? <laughs> and TW40. Right. And you swish it around in your mouth for 20 minutes, and then when you spit it out, it's supposed to get rid of all the toxins and make your teeth whiter and all kinds of great benefits. Now, Katie, you've been doing it. you got about, like, 30 more seconds to go, mm -hmm. and then we'll, we'll let you go ahead and... Mm -hmm. Um, mm. Discharge. We're going to find out about your experience in just a few minutes. But first of all, I mean, we want to get to the bottom of this and, and talk about if oil pulling really works. That's right. We are joined by Brian Kelling. Brian has been doing this a while now, and he says he's a fan. And next to him is Dr. Amit Patel. He is a dentist from Stone Ridge Dental Care because we thought we needed, of course, that perspective as well. Right. And right. you can explain if there is science behind it. First of all, Brian, where did you hear about it and why did you start doing it? <laughs> um, my uh, partner's big into organic type of things. Okay. He was trying the newest thing, and um, he suggested it one day. And I, uh, it's a little scary at first. Yeah. I'm like, what are we doing? But um, it's just um, I'm very skeptical about these kind of things anyway. Okay. But I did try it one morning, and it, it, 
it, I mean, for me, it did really well. It actually cleared up my sinuses really? after a couple hours. That's so, funny. I mean, like more benefits than just... Yeah, just your you teeth. Know, your mouth I mean, and I, everything. I didn't know anything about the teeth. I had to look it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, it's but, coconut oil or is it olive oil and any kind of, like, canola oil, that kind of thing? It's, from what I understand, olive oil, sesame. Sesame. Um, coconut. Okay. Pure the ones. oil. Right. It's, it's yeah. kind of the key, I guess. Kind of the things you can buy in the baking. Like mine, I got from Kroger, so you can buy it in the, I mean, <laughs> the baking aisle. How hard is this for you to do it? Because, I mean, I, you know, I have a two-minute timer on my electric toothbrush. <laughs> and, like, by the time I hit that thing, I'm ready to, you know, be done with it. It's definitely a, a morning routine. I mean, I, I, I skipped a few days because it's just you got to walk the dogs, you got to do things. Yeah. But um, you walk sometimes the dogs you don't with do coconut oil in your mouth. <laughs> a little hard. The neighbors yeah. might wonder. Yeah. Right. Um, no, you did this in lieu of toothbrush? No. Okay, you do with. Yeah, yeah I do that first that in the morning and yeah. then go okay. through my normal still mouthwash, okay. toothbrush. Okay. So I do that first. Yeah. So, Dr. Patel, I mean, we have to ask you I mean, is this something that you've heard of or like your patients are frequently trying this? Or? It's interesting is that I think this has just become you know, big thing in the news recently. So right. we're hearing more and more about it. I heard about it a few months ago, um, had a patient ask me about it, and, uh, you know, it was pretty interesting, actually. At first, I actually did have to look it up. It's interesting that it's an, it's an old Indian, uh, as far as Asian Indian, uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, remedy. I mean, it's been around for about 3,000 years. Remedy wow. for what, now, exactly? Now, it's interesting because the old texts say that it's a cure-all. It's something that you use to pull toxins out of your body, um, all sorts of different things. Now, there is no true research on this. Okay. There are small case studies uh, that make it equivalent to, say, a prescription mouth rinse to help remove bacteria from your mouth. Ah. But as far as any of the claims that it pulls toxins out, it cures diabetes, uh, they're unfortunately at this point unfounded okay. and more anecdotal. I mean, okay. if you swish anything around in your mouth for 20 minutes, are you going to get some sort of benefit then when you Look, if I could get out? my patients to brush for two <laughs> minutes like you're doing, I would be a happy yeah. camper, okay? So anything with 20 minutes, if you're brushing, flossing, and adding this as a tool, I'm all for it. Okay. Wow. There's, there's actually no harm. Oh, by the way, we've got the ca I, did you Are you ready? Finish? Oh, well, you they did? told me to spit, so I just spit. You didn't want to see that. Yeah, no. we didn't want to. But I'm not going to lie to you. I think I'm pretty healthy. What's in your Proud. bucket? Yeah, we'll let Sean look I mean, in there. I don't know if we want to show it. It's like water. It. Are you seeing anything in there, Sean? That's cute. Sean's David like a scientist. Nice. David She's sorting Hasselhoff. through it. Oh, my God. We're getting all <laughs> the CIS on this. I know. Okay. That was really Cheerios cool. in there. Yeah. No, I, I didn't see a lot of, I don't know what I'm looking for, but it didn't look like she has a lot of issues. What would you see? Brian, what did you see? Well, I admit the first day, I actually saw, felt like I saw a tint to it, but okay. I'm, I'm a coffee drinker. Oh. So that could be part of it. Maybe we're missing some tinted. Or yeah. um, You're a little tinted. Well, I've had like wow. five Diet Cokes today, okay. so maybe, <laughs> maybe yeah. that's why. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're someone who has like pyorrhea or other periodontal issues, doctor, is this something that would be good for you? You know, that's a good question because what we don't want to discard is the fact that we need to mechanically remove some of these things that are in our mouths mm -hmm. and just swishing and rinsing is going to take that away and if there's an active disease process like cavities periodontal disease uh -huh. which is an infection of your gum and bones you do still need to see your regular dental professional for that okay all right and it sounds i mean like you said you're doing this in addition to so right. not a replacement it's a bad idea yeah yeah <laughs> but if you have someone you know who talks a lot it is <laughs> Awesome. Wonders. <laughs> Not the word that we're blind anything. About? Oh, Sean, are you going to do it later? <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> thank nice. you both. We appreciate you coming, thank really. You. And thank you, Katie. Yeah, you're so welcome. That was so fun. Okay. Want to try it again? <laughs> Go rinse your bowl. <laughs> nice.